Hi there, I'm Lee. Welcome to iMineBlocks. In this one, I'm going to be taking you through the Burstcoin Asset Exchange. So I'm going to be showing you exactly how to get started with the Burstcoin Asset Exchange, how to buy, sell and trade assets, which ones are good, which ones are bad, and all that kind of business, just to give you a good um, overall introduction to the, like I say, the Burstcoin Asset Exchange. So just before we get started, um, one thing I just want to uh, make you aware of is the Burstcoin Asset Exchange is a decentralized and open um, marketplace. What that means is that anyone can create a burst coin asset. It only costs 1,000 burst uh, coins to actually create an asset. What that means is that although there is some very good assets on there, which um, I personally hold and would be happy to recommend, there's also quite a lot of uh, rubbish assets. Um, it's quite common for people to get um, scammed. Um, you know, new, from, from time to time, new people could join the forums promote assets and then you know within months um, or weeks they kind of disappear so be very careful about exactly uh, what you wish to purchase and how much you're going to be buying and all that kind of things just have a little bit of um, skepticism about all of the actual assets so anyway let's move on that's just a word of warning um, just before we get started so if you uh, start up your Burstcoin wallet, you can either use the web wallet or you can use a local uh, node like um, I do. And then open up your browser and um, just sign into your uh, Burst wallet itself. So I'm going to sign in now. Just going to paste the password in there. And this is actually a uh, new account I've created just for my assets to keep them secure and away from my other Burstcoin holdings. So this is the main Burstcoin uh, dashboard. You can see everything um, like you normally can, and obviously it just works within uh, the actual browser interface. So top left-hand corner, we've got my normal account balanced, and then we've got forged balance, it's not really relevant in this uh, particular video, and then we've got assets owned seven, and then we've got more info, current version, all that kind of business. So if you look down the actual left-hand side, you've got these um, sort of sub-menus. The one that we're going to be working with today for the asset exchange is this one, which is asset exchange, and there's a few other sort of um, sub options in here. Uh, when you first get started, you will uh, most likely find that this is actually blank and you don't have any actual assets in there. So I'm not necessarily just talking about the ones that you hold, but um, it's kind of like you need to add them just to see them. So by default, most people, when you sort of go into this menu, you won't see um, any assets in there, and that, that's normal. I'll show you how to add those in just a moment. So let's just click on the actual asset exchange. If you go to My Assets, it will show us a list of, um, or show you guys, um, a current list of the actual assets that I'm holding. So we'll just give that um, a second just to refresh. Okay, so this is what it looks like um, for the actual assets that we're holding. And like I say, in just a moment, I'll show you how to kind of add them to your account and all that sort of stuff. So we've got, I'll just start at the top, just to kind of give you a run through of, of what you're looking at. So the asset is called Burst Size, and I own 1,000 uh, of 1 million that are available. It also tells you as a percentage. Then you've got the lowest asking price, which is what people are selling them for. And then you've got the highest bid, which is what the highest bid that people are offering. And it also gives you a value in Burst based on that, you know, highest bid price. So 26 times 1,000. 26,000 bursts that works out the actual value. So then if you look down, you can see some of the other assets that I own. Some of them are really good and some have been not so good. Uh, I don't really wanna get into um, recommending what I think is good and what I think is bad. Um, I will just kind of urge caution on, on the things that you buy. Um, because like I say, some of them have been very good for me. Others, one or two others have been um, duff ones, but th there was more kind of, um, I knew that going into them anyway, there was a bit more of a, um, a gamble or a, or a a punt, I suppose, is the best um, description. Other ones are obviously had more um, confidence in and put more money into. So this is what it looks like when you've got the actual um, assets itself. So I'll show you how to actually add an asset. And this is, um, I'll show you how to add an asset to your account, and then I'll show you the actual process for buying the assets, um, because there are exactly two different parts to it. So from this main asset exchange on the left, you want to go to add asset. And what it will ask you for is an asset or account ID. So we need to get this number from somewhere. So I'll show you exactly how you find that. So there's a couple of different ways to find the asset IDs um, for adding the assets into your account, the ones that you're going to be watching. So one of the main ways is the, the forum, or the, the, it's, I would say it's the official Burstcoin forum. So if you just type a Burstcoin forum, we'll come to this place. I'll put a link in the actual video description for you. 
and it will take you here and then halfway down the list you've got this asset exchange so this is basically a forum and people can kind of promote their assets um, you know on this list and they'll sort of um, they'll normally provide the asset ID will tell you a little bit about the asset uh, what it proposes to do why to buy it etc so and there is also a kind of a big list of assets as well so if you I'll give you a link to this as well and this is just like a complete list of lots of the different assets and um, you know like I say it gives you that um, ID and the name of it and some of the information the trading information um, about it but if I go to the main sort of um, forum list you can see there's all these different sort of assets in there so if you have a look at this one so it's called uh, BTC Dragon and it's called done by a guy called BitDB let me just go to the very top there so you can see the the type of thing that I'm looking about so it gives it a name he said that his identity is verified, but that's just by another member, by the way. Like I say, be very skeptical of um, all of these um, assets. Some are good and some, some are bad. Um, but anyway, you've got the name of the asset. Then you've got this asset ID, and that's kind of the main piece that you're looking for. I'll come back to this in a moment. So what I'm going to do is just copy this asset ID, and I'll show you how we kind of add it or watch it in our account. So we copy that asset ID. Like I said, it's not a recommendation for this asset. Um, I'm just kind of using it for demonstration. If you go back to our wallet, we click on the add asset, and then we're just gonna uh, paste it in there. We're gonna add it. And now you can see that it actually shows up within our account. So we've got all these other assets that we are watching, but now we also have this BTC Dragon on. Um, so from here, this is the main kind of um, uh, user interface where you can uh, buy, sell, and trade your actual assets. Um, so that is one way to find them. I'll just show you the other uh, ways quickly. So another uh, popular sort of a forum or hub website, if you like, is the BurstNation.com website. So this is a new website, but it's um, quite popular. And also in here, same sort of process as the other one. People can just list their assets. Well, BurstCoin uh, Casino is actually an asset that I hold. And if you just go to the very top, first page. Uh, you can just see there, it's done by Zeus, name of the actual asset, the asset ID, uh, how many um, shares of the asset are, there are, uh, price, etc, all that kind of business. And then as before, you just copy your asset ID into your wallet and then you can watch it and then from there you can actually trade it. And there is also a kind of, um, within the actual wallet itself, there isn't a um, asset explorer but the guys over at the Burst Nation, they've actually kind of made one, but it only works for me with uh, Chrome. So I'm just gonna go to the side there because I've got another camera and I can't quite see those uh, middle icons. Um, so this is what it looks like. So you've got this BTC Dragon and it gives you a nice chart shows you the actual price um, over time. And you've just got order information, all that kind of stuff um, below there. So I just wanted to show you what that looked like um, as well. Let's go back to the actual wallet now and I'll show you the actual process for buying and selling um, assets. Okay, so like I say, from the actual asset exchange, we've got all of the ones that we're currently watching, not necessarily the ones that we're holding. So if I just start at the top, we've got this BTC Dragon. Now on the right hand side, this red, under this red banner part here, you've got the buy orders. So you can see that this person here wants to buy eight of them and he's willing to pay 126 burst for each of them. On the left hand side, we actually have the sell orders. So you can see this person is selling 1,080 or up to 1,080 and he wants 128.98. So if we wanted to buy this actual asset, we could either buy at this current price here, which is the one that they're selling, or we can place a buy-in order. So to place a buy order, we can place it at any price that we want. Um, but if we wanted to kind of, we'd have to be the basically the highest bidder. So just to show you how that works. So the quantity of shares that you want, and you can also use um, like decimal places. So I could kind of buy half a um, one, for example. Um, it goes down to multi decimal places. I'm not too sure what the tiniest amount is, um, but like I say, you can buy smaller amounts than the one whole um, share which is quite, of, um, quite an interesting feature. But um, for simplicity, I'm just going to say I'm, I want to buy one share. And the price that I'm offering is, um, first I'll show you, I'll buy at the actual current price, which I know, so that order, this order here will get completed um, immediately or, or, or as soon as the actual uh, block confirmations allow it. So we'll just 
goes there and we'll buy one. I'm just going to buy the asset. So we're going to buy one BTC Dragon at 128.98. And we want to click buy to confirm it. So I already checked the password phrase box to remember it. So look, that will go through um, automatically. Otherwise, you'll have to retype your password, by the way. Um, and then again, I'll just show you how to buy it again. But this time, we'll do a, um, a pending sort of order. So what we're going to do is, uh, same again, we want to buy one. But this time, I only want to pay, um, let's do 120 is the price that I'm offering to buy. So once again, we click on the buyer burst or BTC Dragon. So we're going to buy one, and we're offering 120. So this one will basically go as kind of like a pending order. It won't actually complete because there's no one selling at that price. We'll have to wait for a, a, a seller to come to the market and sell it to us at the cheaper price. So depending on how the market is or how people feel about the asset, that might complete in a short period of time, or it might take a very long period of time. Depends on you know the market kind of conditions. So that's kind of um, how it works. You, if you look down as well, you can also see like a trading sort of history. So that gives you kind of um, uh, details regarding the most recent transactions for the actual asset itself. Um, and now selling actual assets. So at the moment, these transactions won't have actually completed just yet. So we can't really, or I won't be able to actually sell sell this particular asset. Um, but what I will do is um, I'll just show you how to put in a sell order for one of my um, other assets. So if you go to uh, buy 10, it's another asset that I own. And you can see at the top here that we've got the balance. So it shows you um, how many, um, sorry, what the actual value is there and also how many um, shares I hold of the actual asset. And this is the actual my burst um, coins that I actually have to buy with. And this is my shares to actually sell. So this time we're uh, focusing more on the selling. So down on this right hand side, you can see these people that these are the guys that are willing to buy it immediately. So this highest price is 25.000123. Um, and so if we wanted to sell, we could sell one at that particular price. You see it's already sort of filled there, that's the highest price. We click sell and we could sell to him. Um, but to be honest, I don't really feel like selling um, at that price. So I'll just sh show you again. So if we want to sell one, I can see the other sell order, see he's got a, a sell order of 72, so there's quite a discrepancy between the people that are buying and the selling, and I think the selling price is probably a more fair price. But to show you again, if we kind of just sell a little bit cheaper, so I will sell at say 71 first coin for my one share, and if we click on sell, um, you've also got the fee as well, that's just the standard fee for all the transactions, we want to sell, Click on sell. So just to order confirmation again, we're going to sell one by ENT at 71. And we're going to sell. And what that's going to do is because there's no current buyers at that particular price, that's just going to place a kind of a pending order. And it's going to sit there. You can see it's come up on that left hand or central sort of side there. And that will just sit there until it's actually um, completed. Uh, one other thing to show you is the um, if we go to Obviously, my asset, assets, we've already gone through that. I've showed you the actual uh, process for it. Uh, one other thing just to show you, if you have a um, an account and you want to actually transfer it to another account, um, you can do that and use that. To do that, use this transfer feature. So what you do is you click on transfer, and then here, just put in your burst address and how many shares you want to send to that other um, account. So that's quite useful if you want to kind of um, split up your assets from your burst coins or savings, things like that. Uh, that's something a useful feature that I'd recommend. Uh, one other thing is the open orders option. So if we click on that, you can see here these are sort of all the current pending orders. So we've got a sell order on the left hand side. So we've just got one the price and the total value of that. And then we've got our buy orders as well. And then, um, you know, obviously the same thing again quantity, price, and uh, the total value. You'll notice that the council has kind of got just got this line for it. Uh, but once the, uh, um, I think it's 10 blocks, um, you'll have the, the block confirmations come through and then you'll get an option there that would basically change to a button so you can actually cancel um, orders that are kind of placed on the market as well. So, but that was um, that will just take a little bit of time to actually update. Um, so that is pretty much it for the actual asset exchange. There is also the option on the bottom there 
uh, where you can actually create your own assets. Like I say, the fee is 1,000 uh, burst tokens. Um, but I do, I would recommend you do quite a bit more research before you actually issue assets. There's lots of um, you know good assets and there's lots of um, not so good assets. So before you buy anything, please do um, research into the actual asset and why you know you should consider it just as if you are buying into a company or a business. And lots of the actual assets are a bit sketchy, so please take your time to research the person mostly. Mostly, you need to have trust in the person issuing the asset, not necessarily the asset itself. So, you know, if you believe that the person is good, then the asset will most likely be good. If you believe that the person is not quite, um, um, ha have their morals quite in order, or they're a new, new, new person to the actual, you know, community, then, um, you know, be, be a bit sceptical and um, take your time on these things. Um, okay, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. So I think I've covered pretty much all of the actual basics regarding the Versacoin Asset Exchange. Um, if there's anything I've missed or anything you want to know more about, then please leave a comment in the comments area below, and I'll be sure to uh, follow that up and kind of give, uh, give you all the information that you need. Uh, so that's it for this one. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like, and if you like the, this overall type of content, then uh, be sure to subscribe. Um, obviously, I upload videos like this on a fairly regular basis, and I'd love to have you as part of a little community here. So, till the next one, guys, take care.